It's a timeless tradition in the Northland, passed down from generation to generation. It's the legendary Stormy Cromer. I've got photos of my grandfather wearing one. I've got a picture of my great uncles wearing hats. I've got family traditions going way back. Four generations of the Jackwart family have worn the iconic hat. And today, Bob Jackwart of Ironwood is keeping that tradition alive. I thought there would be town pride, family pride, Upper Peninsula pride and all of that. So when the Cromer Cap Company based out of Milwaukee decided to stop production of the winter cap, Bob decided to buy it. When I said, get me the number, I'll buy the company, it was like, almost like a dream. It was like something that would never ever happen to me. That was in 2001. Now Stormy Cromer Mercantile in Ironwood expects to make 65,000 hats this year from the original pattern designed in 1903 by George Stormy Cromer of Kakana, Wisconsin. Stormy Cromer worked for the railroad, the Chicago Northwestern Railroad in 1903. He was frustrated with his head being cold and so he went home and took his summer baseball hat and put ear flaps on it. And it became a hit, first worn by locomotive engineers and loggers, now worn by outdoor enthusiasts across the country. It's kind of made for the people that love to be outside, and it's a great hat. Ironwood is home to the legendary Stormy Cromer. You can't miss this giant statue placed alongside U.S. Highway 2 two years ago. It's a sure sign family tradition lives on. There's that sense of camaraderie of bringing families together, hunting groups together, comrades together, and there's all that around a wonderful hat. And it's made right here at their headquarters in Ironwood. It's a regular assembly line production. I just, you know, very much enjoy it. I get to do a lot, a lot of different things. Barbara Willman sews up three to four hundred hats a day. Once you let the machine do the work, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I do the monogramming on the Stormy Cromer ear bands. Several hundred I can get out in a day. It's been very enjoyable. These are local people. It has very American roots, and so to keep the hat production here is, is really, really important to us. Gina Thorson works alongside her father every day. And this is the part that I had also asked him about. It's a family business that one day could be hers. It's Bob's hope to pass down the company to his two daughters. For me to pass this company on with Stormy Cromer is about as special as you can imagine. After all, it was once only a dream. Now they're creating the legendary Stormy Cromer, a genuine up north hat. I still would love to know that my grandfather's kind of looking fondly on me. I think it's very nostalgic. It runs deep in families and history and traditions. In Ironwood with photojournalist Carrie Kohlmeyer, I'm Melissa Ganji, Fox 21 News.